Nice. Knipex Ambassador. No magnet? Wait, I got a solution for that. Put your big ass here. Hmm, you can fit it right here. <laughs> oh, that peel. Sticky, sticky. There we go. That's better. Introducing the new Canipex Cutex. Sharp. Precise. Robust. Exact cut without bending or breaking. And last but not least, the Knipex cut hicks. Look at that. We have flooring samples and a Knipex piece of wood. If a woodchuck could chuck wood, then would he use a cutex? Well, he certainly would with a blade like this. He wouldn't be all worn out. Pushing on something like that. Isn't that cool? Right there we have a new way of protecting the edge so you can scrape away at things and it also makes it sturdy. Right there. More sturdy versus without it. Look at the bend on that. So you can still slice away at what you want, but you can add the strength and rigidity. Looks like you can put a longer blade there too. Look at that. Wow. You can add the rigidity with this piece right here. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna retract it back all the way. We have the end right here that doesn't pop out. I've seen this before where it gets quite annoying when you get all the way to the edge on this style of cutter and it pops that thing out. I hate that. Right here, it doesn't go any further, it doesn't pop it out, it keeps it in. That's I like that, that is nice right there. So what this is on the end right here is a two blade storage. And once again, always <laughs> wear gloves when handling this stuff. Yeah, you will get cut. Looks like two blade storage right there. And we have the wonderful Tajima blades that I truly, truly love. And if you haven't seen my older content with the Tajima Rock Hard Box Opener 2000 here, I've used this quite a bit. This is my favorite, favorite cutter. This is a 25 millimeter though, not an 18. This is a 25 millimeter in thickness. This is quite a large hunking uh, piece right here, but you don't lose it. <laughs> I freaking lay this thing anywhere and I can easily find it. It's bulky, it's big, I don't lose it. And these blades are freaking awesome. I open a lot of boxes. You know me, I get a lot of tools. I'm a tool addict. I get a lot of boxes and this thing eats through blocks, boxes like it's nothing, stays sharp. I barely have to cut these things off to do a whole bunch of box cutting, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. And yeah. It's quite nice that Knipex joined with them and using and they're using their blades for sure. <laughs> and this is quite a nice combination right here. Super light. Oh, like two grams less than what they say. Yeah, so with a nice pointed edge right here, I don't see it getting caught if you have some kind of a pouch system or anything. Doesn't look like it's gonna catch on anything. This edge right here, I'm, tr I'm trying to look at some like wear over time, how it would be. Doesn't look like it would catch on anything here. It's nice and rounded here, so it's not gonna hook up on anything. It, yeah, so I don't, I don't feel anything that's gonna wear out too much anytime soon right here. If anything, it starts falling on the ground a lot and wearing out. This, this holds quite well. The build quality on this switch is very interesting. It's got a spring loaded both ways. And there's a whole bunch of springs in there and everything, all built in a little contraption right there. Same as the back piece here. It spring loads both ways. Pretty cool right there. Let's do some uh, cutting action with it. All right, so here we have our flooring samples here. <laughs> here we have the vinyl. Let's use the, the grip right here. Yeah, 
Yeah, not a bad position right up, up here. A little high, but not bad. We still got more grip action up there. And then let's go on to the cork and use the edge right here. Hmm. There we go. That came off. And then the carpet. See how the carpet does. Eh, missed the edge right there. And some Space Age NASA foam. Oh, oh, that's a little tough right there. That snap off. It's like it didn't go through all the way. Let's get on this puppy real good right here. Let's let's get on it good. Does this snap off here? Let's do a light cut right there. Let's get on this real hard right here. Oh yeah. Definitely could put some ump in there. For sure. Then we have this interesting scribe along the line. Scribe along the line right here. And then you snap. I guess this type of flooring requires a nice snap so you have a nice edge. Kind of thin for flooring, but yeah. Wee! All right, that was fun. So here is a tether hole on the bump end of the handle here. And this is a magnesium housing and the blade chain, blade chain. So once again, here's that spring loaded action. You can't go any further and you can feel that it's all the way at the end after it starts doing the spring loaded thing. I'd say the biggest drawback to this, I'd say is the blade change. You really have to press hard on here to release it and to put it back in, it's quite a chore. <laughs> There's a hardened steel pin that holds it in and you kind of can hear a click every once in a while, but yeah, sometimes, yeah, see, it comes out. You have to really hear an affirmative click when it's in there all the way. Right, that was it, yep, there it is, right there. So I'd say that's the biggest drawback to this knife. It is reversible. I don't know why you would reverse it. The bump edge is right here and uh, your cutting action is this way with your pinky on there that way. Maybe if you wanna use some kind of a scraping action with it, cause this still does come out when it's against the blade. So the blade would be on this side if you reverse it. And uh, maybe you'd wanna use this edge for some reason. I don't know why, but it is reversible if you, prefer to use it some certain method that way. Um, yeah, so pretty much that concludes everything about this uh, Cutex so far. And uh, now it should be everywhere. This is the 9010165, and there should be a BK on the end of the part number. You'll find it at KC Tool, House of Tool, and hopefully, I think on uh, Amazon.com as well. It's everywhere. It's out now. I even saw it uh, just recently at my local sack fastener store. I'm lucky to have a nice place nearby where I can actually buy it. That was pretty cool to see. And uh, yeah, this one right here, the Twin Grip, this one was a USA release. So that's why we saw this one right away. Uh, there is short stock on it now because everybody bought the first round, but this one we saw it first and right away because it was US market first and then Europe after. This one was Europe first and then USA backwards. So we're just now getting the stock of this. So um, yeah, I would get it now before it starts running out at, like this one. And I think the comfort handles were just arrived and uh, now they're gone again. So. Good luck on finding these. I still have this at the shed because um, I plan on doing some more stuff here. I haven't used much of this. I uh, plan to take it to the shop later and then do a deal on that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, not a bad little blade right here. I'd say uh, with Tajima together, definitely a nice setup here. We'll get this to use. And yeah, I definitely use my blades so <laughs> i want to get a refill too another pack of this because i have a pack of the 25 so i want to get a pack of the 18s now it's a cool little um little plumb bob thing well it kind of looks like a plumb bob well i don't know. I, just, I just call it a plumb bob deal <laughs> but <laughs> this is pretty cool the two halves come together and through the hole right here you can stick a carabiner in there whatnot you can hang it off your tool belt so you have your extra blades handy which is nice cool little case here 
and it appears that I need a refill soon. Awesome. Another trip to sack fasteners. Yay. <laughs> uh, they don't have the 18s though. So I definitely see if I can uh, have them order them or have them keep them on the shelves is cool. They have other Tajima products as well. They have the hard and the sharp. So these blades have a hard and a sharp version and I think a couple versions, other versions as well. So yeah, I definitely keep an eye on that. It's awesome that Tajima is working with Knipex. Cool to see that. And I definitely, yeah, I get some use out of them. Definitely uh, awesome to see how this does. And yeah, we'll see how it does guys. And once again, thank you for watching. On to the next. Thank <laughs> you.